All right, guys, before you freak out, I know you already know what this is through the thumbnail and the title description. <sighs> but it's the iPad Air. Ah, that, that, that. Just before we begin, just want to say Linus made me do this. So the iPad Air is Apple's fifth iteration of the iPad generation. And this time they pulled out all the stops to have it a lot lighter, a lot thinner, the bezels are smaller, all that good stuff, faster processor, but we'll get into that into more detail a little bit later on. So inside the box we have a design by Apple in California, documentation, booklet, pamphlet thing, uh, the lightning cable. Uh, I'd say about three and a half feet, but it's Apple, you know, it's gonna, they're going to charge your arm and leg to replace one. And they've got their power brick to connect for power, right? This one's rated for 2.4 amps. Flips out like that, plug in the cable like so, and you're good to go. All right, let's move that aside and bring on the main attraction. So this is the iPad Air. Ooh, comes in white with the silver back. The Apple logo is nice and shiny there. And I have our teleprompter iPad. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Here is the two stacked on top of each other. Here is the power button. Here are the side rocker buttons. The two different types of connectors. We also see the speaker ports. And a whole lot of nothing on the right-hand side. The screen sizes are exactly the same. It's still 9.7 inches. Uh, the CPU is upgraded to the A7. And yeah, there's not really much else to say about it. I'm going to go charge this up, and uh, we'll take a closer look at the screen. So here we have both the screens turned on. Now they are exactly the same retina screen. They're still the 9.7 inch retina screens. So overall, the look is kind of the same, although with the iPad Air stock coming in with iOS 7 and our third gen teleprompter iPad still is running OS 6, everything seems a bit more vibrant, colorful, unicorn bright. And just as a reminder of weight, the iPad, the older iPad generation weighed in at 650 grams, while the iPad Air comes in at a minuscule 469 grams. Well, not that many school, but it's quite an improvement considering they you know, were able to stuff a, a brand new CPU in there, kept the dimensions of the screen same, and they even narrowed down the bezels. So let me see if I can get this on camera. So the screen bezels on the side, on the left and the right hand side, are pretty much almost halved. Halved? Halved on the iPad Air versus the older iPad. So that's actually pretty neat to see it shrink that way. So with me being not big of a tablet fan, I have to give it to Apple when it comes to their speakers. So on the iPad on, for the older generation, the speaker was just the single one on the right hand side on the bottom, whereas the iPad Air has two speakers on the bottom. Now usually what Apple does is that they'll have two speaker ports but only one functions like on the iPhone. If you ever grabbed an iPhone and like covered both speakers at the same time, there's no sound. If you lift one off, there's still no sound. And if you lift the other one off, there's sound. So there's only one speaker. But with the iPad Air, the speakers actually both work. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I have no other words to describe the iPad Air. I mean, obviously the bezels are smaller, it's lighter, it's thinner, still packs the same size screen. The speakers are awesome. It's an iPad from Apple. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below if you want to run this iPad over with your car.